Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is fail to load xgamerrunTime.dl error code is 126. So if you are receiving this error code, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to repair and reset gaming services. Go to the start menu, then click on settings. Go to apps, apps and features. Now in the search box, type in gaming services over here. And then click on gaming services, then click on advanced option, and then you can go ahead and click on repair and reset. So in Windows 10, simply click on it, then you will see advanced option, click on advanced option. In Windows 11, click on this three dots, and then click on advanced option. Scroll down here, you can see the repair option, click on repair. And once the repair is done, try to launch the game. But still you are facing the error message, in that case, click on reset, reset, and after the reset, and launch the game now if you don't find gaming services in apps and features in that case you can skip the step and then perform the next step that is open microsoft store and click on get updates so for this open store on the bottom left here you can see the library option click on library on the top right you will see get update option so click on get updates and once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. To uninstall gaming services, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now on the same window, copy the second command. Paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Now this will open Microsoft Store. And you will see the install option to install gaming services. Click on install. Then click on yes to allow. Now let the download complete. Once the download is complete, now you can launch the game. Now the next step is to make changes in the registry. For this, type in registry editor in Windows search box. And then click on registry editor. Click on yes to allow. Now expand HK local machine now expand system then expand current control set and then expand services and then here scroll down now over here you can see gaming services and gaming services net so make a right click on gaming services then click on delete Click on yes. Now again make a right click on gaming services net. Then click on delete. Now restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Restart is a must. Now after the restart. Again uninstall and reinstall gaming services. So copy this command. Type in PowerShell once again in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command, hit the enter key. Now run the second command. Paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Again, it will open Microsoft Store. Then you will see the install option to install gaming services. Click on install. Now click on yes to allow. Now still you are receiving this error message. In that case, you can go to browser and type in Xbox app in Google and then go to Xbox website and then Scroll down, click on download the app and then run this exe file and install Xbox app. So if Xbox app is already installed, in that case, you can straight away open Xbox app. If not installed, you can install it. Once Xbox app is open, you can try launching the game and then check. And when you open the Xbox app, if you see any pop up to update to install gaming services, update or install gaming services. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.